Hello everyone, what is happening? I'm your host Eamon Hassan and welcome back to another video here at Most Amazing Top 10. Now honestly, it doesn't matter where you live, you could live here in Canada, you could live all the way in Uzbekistan, heck you could probably even live in Antarctica and you would definitely have a lot of knowledge about America or at least have a vague idea, at least. The US is probably the country who has done globalization the best, their adverts are all we see, 90% of the movies we see originate from Hollywood and half the food we eat or clothes we buy come from American food chains or clothing brands. But contrary to popular belief, there are probably things you didn't know about America. And better yet, there are scary things about America that you definitely didn't know. But after this video, you will. Now let's just start the video. Haha, no I'm kidding, not yet. Before that, like and subscribe to the channel guys and subscribe to top 10 Hindi videos as well because why watch just one top 10 channel when you can watch two? The more the merrier. But anyway, Anyway, this is the top 10 scary American facts. Starting us off with number 10 is Captain Kidd. I feel like the Statue of Liberty is one of the biggest images of tourism in the world. It's also a huge part of pop culture. I can't say I've met anyone that hasn't heard of it or at least seen a picture of it. But did you know that it's actually haunted? That's right. I'm sorry to all the kids living in New York watching this because I'm about to ruin your favorite day out. I'm sorry, truly. Captain William Kidd was a well-known British pirate that frequented New York quite a bit in the 1700s. He used to raid enemy ships during the war as well as some English ships too. More is more, I guess. He also contributed to the building of the original Trinity Church and after he was tried and hung in England, people reported to seeing his ghost in the Trinity churchyard because his soul really wanted to be buried there. As a pirate, you can't possibly not have a stash of buried treasure, and as the guardian of the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty, a lot of people believed he buried his treasure there. In 1825, Sergeant Gibbs and Private Carpenter were assigned to the statue and they tried to find Kidd's buried treasure. They found the chest, but before they could open it, the ghost of Captain Kidd rose from its grave right next to the chest and they both failed. Painted. They claimed he was breathing sulfuric fumes and gliding around in a menacing fashion. Whatever that means, but there you go. Coming in at number 9, we have the Donner Party, which most people probably haven't heard of, but why else am I here? The Donner Party were a group of 87 American pioneers that took a wagon train from Missouri and set out for California back in 1846. What was usually a 4-6 to six month journey ended up being a lot more, and the last group of surviving people didn't make it till March 1847, and some historians say it was one of the most spectacular yet bizarre tragedies in American history. By the start of November, the party had become trapped in the Sierra Nevada mountain range near Donner Lake due to a really heavy snowfall. A month and a half later, their food supplies had run out and some brave souls tried to venture out to get supplies. The first relief group that came to help them came in February of 1847, which was nearly four full months after they had gotten stuck. The scary part was that a lot of the members resorted to cannibalism in order to survive. And who are they eating? members of their own party who'd already died from various reasons like frostbite, pneumonia or starvation. They ate their friends, they ate mice and they even ate ox bones. At the end of the entire ordeal, out of the 87 people that embarked on the journey, only 47 survived. At number 8 now are cows. I assure you this one is scary, just hear me out. Cows are cute, sure, they moo, sure they give us milk and beef, great, but these things are like 1,000 330 pounds, which is around like nine American adults. So if this thing falls on you, it could crush you. Scary, right? And if they don't fall on you and kill you, not to worry, because they maul around 20 of us to death each year. And to make matters worse, there are way too many of them. In America, for every 3.5 humans, yes, that's a statistic. I don't know how you get half a human, but sure. For every 3.5 humans, there is one cow. In some states, there are more cows than there are actual people. If you live in a state where cows outnumber you, then I apologize, but you will die in the next cow apocalypse. For example, in the brown Alaska has a population of 1.92 million people. How many cows does it have, you may ask? 6.4 million. Nearly three times as many cows as a people. One human versus three cows. You can figure out the odds. So I'm sorry to the states of Idaho, Kansas, Iowa, Montana, North and South Dakota, Oklahoma, and Wyoming because you all will lose the cowpocalypse. 
That is all. Filling our number seven slot now, we have dentures. I mean, I don't think anyone watching this right now is old enough to be wearing dentures, but if you are, honestly, I just really like to see you take them off. <laughs> I feel like every time I see that in a cartoon, I always found it really funny, and I, every time I see it in real life, I find it even funnier. I don't know. But anyway, before good old proper dental care in the US, and way before those gleaming white celebrity veneers, we had dentures made from human teeth. Most teeth were actually taken from the corpses of Civil War soldiers, and they would remove their teeth one by one and place them in artificial gums used by, obviously, the living. And it wasn't just people taking them lawfully, some people actually stole the teeth from the corpses in order to sell them to dentists. Wow. If I had died in the Civil War, I'd be so pissed that someone was disrespecting my dead body like that, like put some respect on my name. Please. Now at number six are medical errors. Honestly, the fact that this is even one of the points today is scary in and of itself. What do you mean medical errors? How does one go to the hospital already worried about dying, but now have to worry about a medical error occurring during their procedure? Well, it's real people because medical errors are the third leading cause of death in the US. Third leading cause. For something that's meant to save your life, this is way too high up on the things that can kill you list. How oxymoronic is that? According to Johns Hopkins, more than 250,000 people die every year because of medical blunders, whereas other studies say the number is more along the line of 440,000. If heart disease or cancer hasn't killed you, don't worry because a medical error is next on the list and that just may do it for you. A survey done on 11 rich nations by the Commonwealth Fund in 2000. 2014 found that the US ranked last place in overall healthcare performance. Fantastic. Coming in at number five is incarceration. Because this fact is about prison, it's automatically giving me PTSD about the scary hidden prisons video I did a week and a bit ago, and oh, I, I just can't even think of that. But watch it if you haven't already, it's, it's shocking to say the least. <laughs> but anyway, according to the International Center for Prison Studies, the US incarcerates more people than any other country in the world. In 2015, it had 2.2 million people behind bars, which is around 22% of the total population of inmates around the world. If you put that in perspective, the US has nearly a quarter of all the world's inmates. That's insane. In 2016, 2.3 million people were behind bars, which was nearly almost 1% of the whole US population. Imagine 1% of your population is behind bars. Insane and scary. At number four is pizza. Now who doesn't love pizza? Whether you're team pineapple on the pizza or team no pineapple, we can all agree pizza is great. And for anyone wondering, I was converted to team pineapple four years ago. Team pineapple and proud. But anyway, the US sells enough pizza every single day to cover 100 acres with pizza. I kid you not. Do you know how big 100 acres is? That's like 404,686 square meters. I know how to explain to you guys how big that is, you just have to google it and see for yourself. It's like a proper farmland area. That's scary because as good as pizza is, it's oily as hell and cheesy as hell, aka it's unhealthy. And if America is selling 100 acres of it a day, no wonder people are obese. Filling our number 3 slot is the Green Man, aka Raymond Robinson. Weirdly enough, Raymond is a bit of an American urban legend that a lot of people don't know about. Even though this isn't an urban legend, video, he's still American and he's still scary, so it's happening. Robinson was born and raised in Pennsylvania and when he was 9 years old he was climbing a pole to reach a bird's nest when he was severely shocked by the electrical line. The bridge had killed a boy a year before him and it had lines of 22,000 volts and 1,200 volts. If you're not that much of a physics nerd, that's okay, but that is a very high voltage guys. People were stunned he even survived, but he was left extremely disfigured. He lost his right arm, his eyes, and his nose. He couldn't even go out in public anymore because he caused such a panic, so he stayed inside during the day and only went out at night. Which obviously adds even more fear to him because if seeing him during the daylight scares people, you'd probably have a heart attack if you encountered him at night. People call him the green man because of his skin that was apparently green after the shock. That's just really unlucky. No arm, no eyes, no nose, and you're green. 
I feel for you. Now on number 2 is the Jonestown Massacre. Now the People's Temple was an American Christian religious movement founded in 1955 by Jim Jones in Indianapolis. The 3,000 to 5,000 people who belonged to this movement lived in various settlements but in 1974 they rented land in Jonestown and hence the group was sometimes informally known as Jonestown. The group is best known not for its profound new teachings but for the 918 people who died in a mass suicide. Side. This case was the biggest loss of American civil life in a deliberate act before 9-11. So you can imagine the weight of this event. Jones cited the move to Jonestown was because of frequent media scrutiny about the movement and the spread of fascism in America. Four years later, US Congressman Leo Ryan visited the settlement to investigate claims of abuse and during his visit a few members actually wanted to leave with him. However, they were intercepted by the temple's self-imposed security guards who opened fire killing Leo and four others. That same night, Jones ordered everyone to drink a mixture of cyanide laced grape flavoured Flavorade. Flavorade is just a non fizzy soft drink in case anyone wasn't aware. 918 people died and 276 of them were children. At first I thought maybe they didn't know the drink was laced but the event is cited as the biggest mass suicide so the people definitely knew what they were doing and that level of brainwashing is terrifying. And finally at number 1 is Lake Okeechobee in Florida. Now Lake Okeechobee is the second largest body of fresh water in the US and it's around 730 square miles but weird stories have surrounded this lake for decades. The weirdest one being the lake's bones. Hear me out. Before 1910 many pioneers had reported seeing human skeletons in the shallow ends of the lake. So much so that a lot of fishermen actually caught human skulls in their nets. One settler claimed that during low water periods the shallow end looked like a pumpkin patch full of skulls. I know that pumpkin patch is nice imagery but just imagine a pumpkin patch of skulls. Skulls. In the early years of the 1900s, people found more than 50 human skeletons in the lake, and before you guess, no, it wasn't an old dryland burial site. In 1953, Willis Crosby used to catfish in the lake, and he claimed he found half a dozen skulls in the lake. Some people think it could be because of old mass casualties, like during a hurricane, but there weren't that many people that even lived near the lake during the early 1900s to begin with. They weren't battle soldiers either, because the the last battle close by was in 1837 and only 30 people died and that was on the other side of the lake. So in essence there have been numerous accounts of people finding skulls and human skeletal remains in this lake and absolutely no one has any idea how they got there. Scary indeed. And that's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed and whether you're American or not I hope you learned some new things about the US and I hope those things scared you as much as they did me. Which facts did you know about beforehand if any and which one scared you the most? The cows fact blew my mind and so did the bone lake, I mean where did they even come from? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always guys I'm your host Eamon Hassan and I'll see you next time, bye!